Hola todos. Hello everybody. Once again, this is your amigo, Kyongo, welcoming you to today's lesson and telling you thank you for joining me today and thank you for your continued support. Thank you for your feedback and thank you for sharing and also for subscribing and watching the channel. So from me again, muchas gracias. Le agradezco mucho. I thank you so much. And again, remember kindly, if it's your first time to watch, to be here today, please hit the subscribe button so you can join us. You can get on board as we move along on this very exciting Espanol journey. So welcome to today's lesson. And I have an exciting topic today. I have an exciting topic today. And what I have today is what I call or what I refer to as the biggest word or the biggest verb in Spanish. The lesson for today is what I refer to as the biggest word or the biggest verb in Espanol. And I'll tell you why I call it the biggest verb in Spanish. I'll tell you why. The reason is because when using this verb, and I'll tell you what verb it is, you have to be really clear with the context. You have to be really clear with the context in order for your audience or for whoever you are addressing to know how you are employing. Let me say that again. You have to be very clear with the context in order for whoever you are communicating to, to know, to get the meaning, the exact meaning of how you are using the verb. So the verb is called golpear, golpear. And before we go to the board, let me tell you why it's a verb that one has to be very careful. Why it's the verb one has to be very careful. The definition of golpear, the definition of golpear on one extreme end, one end of the spectrum, it could mean a blow, like a blow violent enough to kill somebody, a blow violent enough to cause damage or severe injury on one end of the spectrum. On the other end, the very word could mean to tap, a tap or a knock. So let me say that again. Golpear, un golpe, un golpe could mean a blow, a blow violent enough to cause damage or even kill. And on the other end of the spectrum, un golpe could also mean just a light tap or a, like the way you tap somebody on the shoulder. So that's why I say one has to be very careful how they use it and they have to be very clear with the context. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for your support, for your feedback, and for subscribing. If this is your first time, please kindly, I request you to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe uh, word down there. And also remember to hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a lesson. Remember, lessons every Tuesday, this lesson where we go into the in-depth of grammar and every Wednesday, the conversation lesson, the conversation lesson. So I upload the grammar lesson every Tuesday and every Wednesday, I upload the conversation the, the, where the, the practical lesson where I, I say everything 100% in Spanish. So let's go to my board now and look at the biggest verb in Espanol. Again, thank you for staying with me. So I've already told you what, uh, before I go to the board, what uh, you expect to find. So that's the verb, golpear, golpear. So I've divided on the two extreme ends, the two extreme definitions that you have on top, on top, these are the really strong definitions. These are the really, now, extreme definitions on one end of the spectrum. So, un golpe, let me see, un 
golpe, un golpe could mean, bear with me, so un golpe could mean on one end, could mean a strike somebody, strike really hard. It could also mean to hit, hit violently. It could also mean to punch, it could mean to punch. It could also mean to beat up, beat up somebody. It could also mean a blow, like I said, a violent blow. So un golpe could be the definition above, definitions above. That's why I insist when you use this verb, you have to be very clear with the context for somebody to know, are you referring what kind of a, what, what kind of a, what, what you mean by gulp? Let me give you the second definitions, which second set of definitions, which is a little bit on the soft side. Gulp could also mean a knock, like the way you can knock, you can knock on the, on the door. Gulp could mean a knock, the way you can knock on the door. Ungope could also mean a cock. Could also mean cock. Ungope could also mean to pat. Ungope could mean to pat. Ungope could also mean to tap. To tap. Ungope could also mean to wrap, like the way we wrap with the fingers, like the way you can wrap the dog. So that's why I say when you use this verb, you have to be very careful. You have to specify your content. Because like we see, un golpe, un golpe could mean the above, very violent action, strike, hit, punch, beat up or blow, extreme end, un golpe could mean those. Un golpe could also mean the softer definition, which is like knock on the door or pop or pat, and you agree, pat is a softer action compared to blow. Close on me to tap, right there, close on me to wrap. So this is, uh, it may seem like a brief lesson, but the importance of the verb can't be, it, it can't, I can't emphasize enough that one has to be very clear with the context. Again, let me go by our lesson today. The word was golpear, which I call the biggest word or the biggest verb in Spanish. And that's because depending on how you use it on one end, it can mean a very violent action. On the other end, it can mean a very soft action. Let's look at it. Un golpe could mean strike, strike somebody really hard. It could mean hit, it could mean punch, it could mean beat up, it could also mean blow, which the definitions above are more of the extreme definitions of un golpe. On the other hand, the same verb un golpe could mean a knock, just which is a softer action compared to the ones above. It could also mean pop, it could also mean pat, it could also mean tap, or to wrap. And muy bien, amigos, there we go. That's the verb we had for today, or that's the lesson we, we had for today. Today I taught about the vaguest verb in Espanol, which is golpear, which is golpear. And I call it a vague, the vaguest verb because on one end, one extreme end, un golpe can mean a violent blow, a violent strike. On the other end, the softer end of the spectrum, un golpe can mean a tap or poke, poke or just a knock. And that's why when it comes to this specific verb, one has to be very careful and specify the context in which they are using. But once again, thank you so much for joining me for today's lesson. Remember, the notes are going to be under the lesson and bring that feedback. Please share with friends, uh, share with other people, let them know what we are doing on Spanish Central. And for those who have sub subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. And if it's your first time, kindly, I kindly request you to subscribe by hitting the red button at the bottom of the screen. So once again, this has been your amigo, 
Kiongo telling you muchas gracias, adios, hasta luego. Remember all the lessons and previous lessons are on Spanish Central on my channel, YouTube channel. Adios, hasta luego.